I have really struggled with the decision to return to political life. In a minute and a half long video, Ronna Ambrose dashed the hopes of many Conservatives across Canada. But right now, I'm focused on making a difference through the private sector. She's faced weeks of immense pressure to run from heavyweights like former Prime Minister Stephen Harper, Alberta Premier Jason Kenney, and former Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall. But today, I want to thank she finally decided she's out. It is humbling to be considered at all, because I love our party, I love the people in it, and I love our country. Without her, it's a race so far with no high-profile Westerner or female candidate. Je ne serai pas candidat, c'est définitif. Add that to former Quebec Premier and Progressive Conservative leader Jean Charest's decision not to run, and suddenly, this is a much different leadership race. Look, not having Mr. Charest, not having Ron Ambrose in the race doesn't make it as exciting. Uh, it would have been great to have them in there, uh, but the opportunity... That's the thinking of many Conservatives, and many now feel it's a three-way race. Look, if you were handicapping it today, it would be a race between three people. Probably right now, Peter McKay would be seen as the favourite. Do not underestimate Pierre Polyev, and don't equally underestimate Aaron O'Toole. Doesn't mean others can't pop up and, and play interesting roles, uh, but right now, today, it's those three candidates. Ambrose was seen by many as the party's best shot to beat the Liberals in the next election. With her decision today, the Conservatives now need to focus all of their attention on who will actually lead that fight. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.